Welcome to Faith Promise Church. We hope you're having a wonderful Labor Day weekend. In the seat back pockets in front of you, there are communication cards. If you're a first time guest, we'd love to have you fill one out and drop it in the offering box on the way out so we know how to serve you. On these cards, you'll also find ways to communicate prayer needs and how to get connected here at Faith Promise. And speaking of getting connected, serving is a vital part of growing in your walk with God and connecting with others here at Faith Promise. If you'd like to make a difference and serve, but don't know where to begin, join our first ever ministry-wide serving tour on September 9th. You'll get a behind the scenes look at ministries such as kids, worship, students, groups, and even more, and see where you best fit in. Sign up today at faithpromise.org slash next steps. And as always, you can find out more about how to get connected at Faith Promise and our upcoming events on our website at faithpromise.org. Have a great weekend. Matthew 25, 40. Jesus said, Inasmuch as you have done it unto the least of these, you have done it unto me. Thank you, Faith Promise, for supporting our efforts to bless the young, the underprivileged, the sick, the downcast, and the hurting of our world. Your generosity afforded us the opportunity to travel to Honduras twice and give away food, clothing, and much needed health care to those in need. Thank you for supporting Faith Promise and its ministries of love with your gifts. You are helping to make a difference for Jesus around the world. Atheism. Atheism says that God does not exist, that he cannot exist. An atheist says that the truths we hold the words Jesus spoke, the promises we cling to, are all false. An atheist lives as if he does not believe. Christians walk according to the principles of Scripture. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commands. But so many times, how we live and what we say we believe don't match. We walk this earth, proclaiming to be followers of Jesus, but in reality, our lives tell a much different story. Have we come to a point where we say we believe in God, but live as if He doesn't exist? Are we more like atheists?